New on KETV, the month's long wait is over for hundreds of medical students in the metro. Today, they found their match for residency. KETV News Watch 7's Waverly Monroe has the excitement from UNMC and Creighton students. Creighton medical students are announcing their match where they'll spend their residency, and this hasn't been done in person since 2019. Congratulations. For twins Lizzie and Allie Mosey, their journey through medical school was spent side by side. When you have a sister going through it, all the tests that we had to take, all the obstacles that we had to overcome, having her there to support me and I supporting her in turn, um, really remarkable and made it, I think, just twice as special almost. It's your best friend in medical school with you. The sisters even chose the same specialty. When you're a third year, you try each of the different specialties and then I think you figure out what clicks best with you and that's the one that you go with. A calling to psychiatry. We both found out that was just the specialty we enjoyed the most. Over at the Baxter Arena, Madison Grinnell originally studied photography. And found out kind of my senior year doing some work in the anatomy lab at Yale where I went to college um, that I actually wanted to pursue medicine. Grinnell says she was shadowing surgeons when her focus began to change. It was really those patient stories that I was interested in um, more than kind of drawing and painting. But where they're headed is Friday's big question. For months, four-year medical students have submitted applications to residency programs, all hoping to be matched with their top pick. I'm at Jameo. I'm at University of Colorado. <laughs> so now, after being together for so long, the twins' paths take them to different states. As for Grinnell, she's staying local, matched with the University of Nebraska Medical Center. I hope to be working at an academic hospital in dermatology. I hope to be doing research uh, in photography to be able to improve the quality of photographs and the telemedicine experience. All three students will be graduating in May. Waverly Monroe, KETV, Newswatch 7.